Happy New Year and welcome back to the Weather Base. This is episode six of the first series, and today we're having a look at this. This is the Behringer SF300 Super Fuzz. You have just heard in the first song the two plus one first setting. Plus one, I hear you say, well, yes, uh, you can select an in-between mode between fuzz one and two, and it sounds quite nice. By the way, we won't listen to the boost mode because today it's only about fuzz. So fuzz one is mid-boosted and has great emphasis on upper harmonics. Uh, it also has an almost one octave up uh, effect, uh, especially with sustained notes. Fuzz 2 is scooped, it sounds deeper and more dynamic than Fuzz 1. The combination of the two results in a combination of the two. Let's jump to the creamier setting. It's clear that Fuzz 1 cuts through the mix with ease. The mids are so pronounced that even if you boost the lows, they are completely outweighted by the mids. Fuzz 2, in my opinion, works better with this kind of song because it's not as invasive as Fuzz 1. However, the combination of the two results in a very balanced sound. Now let's see how the Super Fuzz pairs with other pedals. It sounds great with other effects and there's nothing much more to add. Again, we get the same color or sound signature out of the fuzz modes. And it does a very satisfying job at recreating a good synth sound. Let's find out how it behaves with the bluesier setting. <laughs> More than ever, Fuzz One is extremely efficient at cutting through the mix, especially in the second part where the music becomes a little bit more intense. However, the mids are still too dominant in Fuzz One and Fuzz Two tends to get lost in the mix. So again, the in-between mode really shines nicely here. Why didn't Behringer include the in-between mode? I don't know, and it's probably something they did not expect to work. 
In conclusion, this pedal sounds terrific for 24 euros new. It's a bargain. However, it is made of plastic, but it still feels robust enough. The bass knob seems to add more sub bass rather than bass bass. So if this pedal would come in a metal housing, I know that it's possible to put it in a metal housing because I've seen some pictures and read it. If it had a blend knob, if it had a bass bass knob, and if it had a fix in between mode, or rather a blend knob between the two modes, that would be great. This would be ridiculously good for bass. Modders, please make my dream come true. This is 2021. Only good things can happen this year, right? This is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Unfortunately, I will not be able to publish a video every week as I did lately because I have quite a lot of work and I don't get paid for these videos. I just do it for the fun of it and just to share my passion for sound, for bass sound with you. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done that already and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Oh yeah, now we're going to listen to the pedal by itself.